the playoffs. We are so excited to be here. Before we introduce our first set of teams, just a couple things going over for, you know, maybe friends, family watching at home. We are in a double elimination format. So once an alliance loses two matches, they'll be eliminated from the playoffs. Two losses means it's just time to cheer on our other teams. There are going to be two brackets, an upper bracket and a lower bracket. All alliances start round one up in the upper bracket. Alliances that win matches will then progress through that upper bracket, but losing a match in the upper bracket will move you down to the lower bracket. Alliances that win matches in the lower bracket just progress through rounds in the lower bracket, but a loss in the lower bracket will result in elimination. The winners of the upper bracket and the lower bracket will play each other in a traditional best two out of three in the finals. It's always really exciting, I can't wait. To ensure that teams get the time they need to keep their robots match ready, after rounds three, four, and five, we're gonna take a short break showing some videos and presenting some awards, which I know we're all very excited for. It's gonna be super, super awesome. So let's go ahead and start our playoffs. Here in our first playoff match, we have in red, our number one alliance. Over on the other side of the field, they're gonna be playing alliance number eight. Let's meet our teams. Starting us off, we're with team 9453. Sponsored by Mount Vernon Senior High School in Mount Vernon, Indiana, it's the Mount Vernon Wildcats. Joining them here in the center, we have our Alliance captain with Team 1747. Sponsored by Caterpillar of Purdue University in Mac, Aronic McAllister Foundation from West Lafayette, Indiana, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. And finally, rounding out our number one Alliance, we have Team 3176. Sponsored by Belden Colter, Cure Corporation, Cornerstone Industries, Wells Global, and Wells Global West from Brownsburg, Indiana, their Purple Precision. Let's meet our number eight alliance. We have Team 7657. They're sponsored by Toyota Manufacturing, NASA, and New Tech Institute. They're the Thunderbots. In the center, we have Team 8116. From Washington High School, they're sponsored by Toyota slash Washington Community Schools and Washington High School. It's Hatchet Robotics. And finally, rounding us off for our first playoff match of the day, we have Team 8430. From Washington High School, inspired by Toyota Washington Schools and Washington High School, it's the Hatchbatch. All right, teams, make some noise. Drivers, behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. And the playoffs of the Washington District event brought to you by Toyota and Vincennes University have begun. We have the Red Alliance, your number one ranked alliance, and they'll be facing off against our eighth alliance in blue. Both teams starting off auto strong with above 20 points. We now move into the tele-operated period. Remember, ranking points are no longer relevant, so our teams are not going to be going for that cooperation bonus. Every point scored in the amp are going to contribute towards amplifying those speakers. It's all about getting the highest score possible to move on in the winner's bracket. The loser of this match will move down to the elimination bracket, where they will have one more chance to move on throughout the competition. The score is currently 27 to 24. It is a close one, separated by three points, 17-47. They're your number one Alliance captain, and they just scored two points for the Red Alliance with that note into that speaker, 94, 53, and 17, 47. They're both trying to score some more points. We can see that Smiley of Doom is the defense strategy being deployed by 84-30. They, that is that blocking mechanism you can see deploying in front of that speaker. They're trying to prevent that Red Alliance from scoring those notes or at least slowing them down as much as they possibly can. 
About half the match still to be played. That strategy is playing out for them very well as they're ahead. 44 points to 32. However, that Red Alliance speaker is now amplified, meaning no score over the next eight seconds are going to be worth five points. That gap can close very quickly. 76-57, they're the Thunderbots, and they just scored into the Blue Alliance amp. They're now moving over to that Blue Alliance source, but they're facing some defense from 94-53, who are now on that center line. About 45 seconds left to go in this match. Blue Alliance still has the lead, but it is anybody's game. It's going to come down to that end game. 13 notes scored for the Blue Alliance, 12 notes scored for the Red Alliance. 1747 has no loaded up. They're going to try to get around that defense of 8430. But it's being very effective. The Smiley of Doom is coming into play, preventing them from scoring this note. 14 seconds left in that match. See those human players throwing those high notes. Climbings are still going to come into play. The Red Alliance does land a spotlight. About four seconds left. The Blue Alliance robots are trying to get back to their stage. And they do with seconds remaining all of our alliances have made it to their stage it is a close one 55 to 41 are the preliminary scores but we'll have our final scores very soon and we'll see who will be moving on and who will go to the lower bracket stay tuned The final scores are in. Your winner of the first playoff match, the Blue Alliance. That's your number eight ranked alliance coming up with the upsets. They took home with 58 points to 46. They will advance to the upper bracket round two. Alliance one still has a chance to climb their way out of the lower bracket. Next, an exciting match to kick off the playoffs here at the Washington District event, brought to you by Toyota of Indiana and Vincennes University.
Well, that was an exciting way to start the playoffs. Yeah. All right, let's get on to match number two. We're starting off on our Red Alliance with Team 4485. From Danville Community High School, they're sponsored by Duke Ener Energy and Waste Management and Danville Community High School. It's Tribe Tech Robotics. Next up in the center, we have Team 2197. From New Prairie High School, they're sponsored by Helmet Aerospace Foundation and New Prairie United School Corporation and Clevisville Cliffs Tech Coat and New Prairie High School. It's Las Pumas. And everyone, we love growing our Finn fam. We always love having our rookies, especially when they do really well on their first season. So let's give it up for our Alliance captain, Team 94-91. Sponsored by Silver Creek High School from Sellersburg, Indiana. Thank it's you. Crypto Creek. Over on the blue side of the field, our next Alliance. We have Team 4926. From CSA New Tech Campus and Columbus North High School and Columbus East High School. They're sponsored by Klein King, King Toyota Material Handling slash Dorothy Tracy L. Hayden Foundation. They're Galactic. Next up, we have Team 7454. From North High School. They're sponsored by Toyota Manufactur Motor Manufacturing Inc. and Ivy Tech Community College. It's Huskies on Hogs. And finally, for our Blue Alliance in this next match, we have Team 3559. Sponsored by Toyota Motor Manufacturing and Indiana DOD STEM. They're from Jasper High School. It's the Thundercats. All right, drivers, behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. And our second playoff match is now underway with the autonomous portion. Both alliances scoring some notes into that high goal. That's five points for each note scored during the autonomous portion of the match. The score is looking like 21 to 12, favoring the fifth ranked alliance. That's our alliance in blue. 35-59, deploying a familiar strategy with this cloth blocker mechanism that they're going to bring over to that Red Alliance speaker. Going to try to stop those Red Alliance robots from scoring. 49-91, the Alliance captains for the fourth-ranked Alliance bringing a note over to their amp. Remember, each team is just trying to get as high of a score as possible. Ranking points no longer come into play. Scores currently 38 to 23, favoring the Blue Alliance. 49-26, scoring a note into that speaker from quite far away. 74-54, Huskies on Hogs, score one in the amp. All the amp points in this match are going to contribute towards amplifying their speakers. 49-26 score. Another two points for the Blue Alliance. Lots of traffic on the red side of the field trying to navigate around the defense of 35-59. 94-91 going over to the amp trying to score into that goal. 49-26 lands. Another one for the Blue Alliance in the speaker. Under a minute left to go. Blue Alliance speaker is amplified. Notes here are going to be crucial. 49-26, just missing. I'm sure they'll pick that up and try again. 74-54, that's Huskies on Hogs. They land one in for the Blue Alliance. 49-26, trying again, and they make it. Score is currently 53-27 for the Blue Alliance, but there's still the end game to go. Those human players can now start throwing those notes onto the microphones.
Both alliances bringing their robots over to the stage. 74, 54 is up. All those blue lines robots trying to climb, and that's the match. We have a pretty close score here. We'll have the final results very soon. All right, the scores from that last match are in. Your winner is the Blue Alliance. Alliance 5 is taking home with a score of 64 to 54 points. They move on to the, in the, along in the upper bracket. We will see Alliance 4 again in the lower bracket where they have a chance, they will have a chance to climb back up in this competition. All right, for all of our friends and family watching here or at home, please direct your attention to the screen. We're going to be running our game animation just so we're all on the same, same playing field with the rules. Welcome to the 2024 First Robotics Competition Game, Crescendo, presented by Haas. Two alliances of three teams each compete to score or play notes in three different field elements. Amplify their speaker, get on stage, harmonize, and take the spotlight before time runs out. Alliances earn additional rewards for meeting specific scoring thresholds and for cooperating with their opponents. Robots start each match inside their alliance's starting zone and may be preloaded with a note. During the first 15 seconds of the match, robots are autonomous and can be programmed to leave their starting zone, play preloaded notes in their speaker or amp, and collect and play additional notes. During the following 2 minutes and 15 seconds, drivers control their robots. Robots collect notes from human players at their source and play them in their amp and speaker. Each time an alliance plays two notes in their amp, the human player can hit a button to amplify their speaker for 10 seconds. Notes played in an amplified speaker are worth more points than those scored in an unamplified speaker. A human player may choose to play a note scored in their amp to cooperate with their opponent. If each alliance plays a note by hitting their cooperation button in the first 45 seconds of teleop, all teams in the match receive a cooperation point, which will influence a team's rank in the tournament. 
the number of played notes needed for a bonus ranking point is also reduced. Robots are protected from contact by their opponents when at their podium, off the ground, and during the last 20 seconds of the match while in contact with their stage. As time runs out, robots race to get on stage and deliver notes through the flap and into the trap. Bonus points are awarded for harmony when robots on stage use the same chain. On-stage robots earn even more points if a human player spotlights the robots on a chain by scoring a note on the chain's corresponding microphone. The alliance that earns the most points wins the match. All right, everybody, we are halfway through round two, so, or round one, sorry. So let's go ahead and meet our next match with Alliance 2 versus Alliance number 7. Starting us off, we have team number 9554. They're sponsored by T-Slot by Bono Aluminum and Goldstone Automotive. It's career, and from Career Academy South Bend, they're the Portage Pythons. In the center, we have our Alliance captain with team 5188. From Vigo County High Schools, they're sponsored by Rose Holman Institute of Technology and Vigo County School Corporation. It's Area 5188 Classified Robotics. And finally, to wrap up our Red Alliance, we have Team 1501. Sponsored by PhD Inc. slash YRG Robotics and Ecolab County Community Learning Center and BAE Systems, their Team Thrust. Over across the field, we're starting out with Team 5402. From Lewis Cash Junior C C Senior High School, they're sponsored by INMAC FCA Foundation, Logan Sport Memorial Hospital, they're Reckless Robotics. And next up, we have Team 8564. Sponsored by Toyota Nidec Gravel Wealth and Retirement Group and Princeton Community High School. They're the Disco Ducks. And to round us off with our Blue Alliance, we have Team 3452. They're the Green Engineers from Barron Springs High School and are sponsored by Barron Springs Public Schools and Lockheed Martin. We have a thumbs up, drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. It's the third match of the playoffs, which means we have the number two alliance against the number seven alliance. Number two alliance, captain by 5188. They're scoring a note into their speaker. 1501, their alliance partner is grabbing a note from that center line. And the score is 17 to 26, favoring the red alliance as we move into the heavily operated portion of this match. The Disco Ducks are playing center field. They're bringing back a note for the Blue Alliance. They're going to send that over to their Alliance partner, 34-52, to try to score. 54-02, getting a note in the amp. Remember, all points scored in the amp will contribute toward amplifying the speakers. There are no ranking points left to be scored in these playoffs matches. 34-02, making their way over to the blue side of the field, scoring a note into that speaker. That's two points for their Alliance. The Red Alliance currently leads with six points, but it's still very close. About a minute 30 left to go. 15-1 Team Thrust has a note hung up on the robot that they're trying to remove. 5188 bringing back a note to the red side. 95-54 trying to score. Just missed, but they're going to pick it up again. 5188 scores a note for the Red Alliance. It's still a close match. 34-52 scoring a note for the Blue Alliance. 15-01, uh, looks like they're trying to get that note off of their robot. They might move to playing defense here shortly. We'll see. Just under a minute left to go in this match. Lots of action on the red side of the field. It's 15-01, defends 54-02 from getting over to the other side. Blue Alliance now leads the Red Alliance by three points. 
95-54, scoring a note for the Red Alliance. 54-02, loading a note up into their robot. Going to try to score one for the Blue Alliance, which they do. 24 seconds left of this match. Still a very close game. Those human players are throwing those high notes onto their microphones, trying to spotlight their Alliance robots. About five seconds left to go as our, the teams are climbing. And that's the match. It is a close one. It's going to come down to these stage points to see who wins this match. The scores from that last match are in. Your winner, the Blue Alliance. They upset the number two seed Alliance with a score of 52 to 47 points. Just five points separating that match. Our, we'll see our number two Alliance again in the lower bracket, round two, match six. Alliance seven will move on into the upper bracket, round two here at the Washington District event, brought to you by Toyota of Indiana and Vincennes University. Oh, all right, everybody, a quick announcement. We're going to be having, after match 10, we are going to be having a super fun ring toss tournament. All right, so if your name is on the screen, make sure at, the, uh, at match 9 to be heading over to gate number 3 to get ready for that, okay? We're super excited. It's going to be really fun. All right, so, so far round one has been pretty intense. It's been, it's been something. We're very excited to keep it going. So let's meet our teams. Starting us off, we're with team 234. They're from Paramuridian High School and sponsored by Allison Transmission and Rev Robotics. It's Cyber Blue. Joining us in the center for this Red Alliance, we have team 3947. From Carmel Senior High School. They're sponsored by Texas Instruments and Intuitive Foundation. They're the Tech Hounds. 
And finally, we have Team 868. They're the Tech Hounds. The previous team were the Last Crusaders. Over on the blue side of the field, we're starting off with Team 5484. Dr. Academy South Bend. It's the Career Academy Robotics Wolfpack. Next up, we have Team 1720. They're a community team from, sponsored by East Central Indiana Robotics and the Avis Foundation. It's Fixed Gears. And finally, for this Blue Alliance, we have Team 6498. From Castle High School, they're sponsored by Toyota Motor Manufacturing and the Alcala Foundation. It's Castle Robotics. All right, I think this is going to be a good one. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. And this is the last of the first round of playoff matches. So far, every match has resulted in the Blue Alliance upsetting the Red Alliance. Our number three alliance, captained by A68, the Tech Hounds, they're going to try to stop that from happening this time. The score is 27 to 26, fearing the Red Alliance going into Teleop. It is a very close match. 17-20, we've seen them playing def some amazing defense all off competition long, and it looks like they're continuing that up in this match, as well as feeding some points to their Alliance partners. 234, making it over to the blue side of the field. They're going to try to go to that Red Alliance feeding zone. The Red Alliance speakers currently amplified. Any points scored in there will be worth five points. Score is 34 to 28. Blue Alliance speaker is now amplified, so that gap could close very quickly. 17-20 playing defense on 234, trying to stop them from going through, as well as A68. Narrowly escaped with a huge collision in the center field with 54, 84, and A68. 54, 84 escapes. They're trying to make it through the defense of 39-47. Lots of defense being played in this match, trying to slow down these cycles. The score is 38 to 35. It's super close. About a minute left to go in anybody's game. 39 47, continue to play defense on 64 234 and 868 just narrowly escaping the defense of 1720. 1720 following 868, trying to prevent them from making it through. They do escape. Going to try to score a note into that amp. Scores 46 to 40. 54 84 scoring a note for the Blue Alliance. That's worth two points. Seventeen twenty preventing 234 from making it through. That quick defense. About 20 seconds left to go in this match. We'll start to see those human players spotlight their robots. Lots of action on in the center field. A68 currently pinned by 54, 84, and 17, 20. They're going to try to prevent them from making it back to their stage. Only eight seconds left to go in this match. 39, 47 is up. Three seconds left to go. Two blue lines are at their stage. Two red lines are at their stage. And it is at one point separating this match going into the final scores. It is a incredibly, incredibly close match. All right, 
and the final scores are in. Separated by just one point, your winner is the Red Alliance. Or sorry, with a score of 59 to 56 points. There were 10 penalty points awarded to the Blue Alliance in that match. The Red Alliance still comes home with a win for all those speaker points scored. That was a very defense-heavy match. We love to see how close the competition gets in the playoffs at the Washington District event, sponsored by Toyota of Indiana and Vincennes University. Quick announcement, if anyone would like ice cream, there are some available by Gate 4. I repeat, ice cream available by Gate 4. All right, we are now moving into the lower bracket of this competition. Let's meet our team starting with the Red Alliance. First up, we have team 9453. With students from Mount Vernon High School, it's the Mount Vernon Wildcats. Joining them, we have team 1747. Sponsored by Purdue First Program, Scalpeter, Social, the Community Foundation of Greater Lafayette, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. And lastly, rounding out this Red Alliance, we have Team 3176. Sponsored by Beckman Coulter, Carrier Corporation, Cornerstone Industries, Wells Global, and Wells Global's West, it's Purple Precision. I knocked another note. Uh-oh, okay. All right, let's meet our teams for the Blue Alliance. Starting out, we have Team 9491. With students from Silver Creek High School in Sellersburg, Indiana, it's Crypto Creek. Joining them, we have Team 2197. Sponsored by Helmet Enterspace, New Prairie United School Corporation, and Cleveland Clips Tech Tote, it's Las Pumas. And lastly, rounding out the Blue Alliance, we have Team 4485. Sponsored by Duke Energy Waste and Management from Danville Community High School, it's Tribe Tech Robotics. I keep... Reminder, those students playing in the ring toss game, we need to see you over by gate three by the start of playoff match nine. We're currently on match five, so that's only four matches away. Remember, if you see your name on the screen, we need you at gate three in a couple matches.
All right, let's get this match started in three, two, one, crescendo. Welcome to Playoff Match 5. The Autonomous is just as you've seen it before. The first team, 56 seconds, all completely pre-programmed. 1747 with their high scoring Autonomous moving all the way across that line, scoring those movement points for their alliance. 2197, Las Pumas able to successfully deliver a note into the top part of the speaker, sliding just under their stage. As we're into teleoff period, this is everything you've just seen before. Two minutes and 50 seconds of human-controlled robot movement. Teams are not worried about those ranking points at all. It all comes down to that final score of points at the end of the two-minute remaining period. 1747 and 4585 on the far side of the field by the scoring table. Bumper to bumper action. Plenty of that during the playoff time as teams try to minimize their score that their opponents are receiving during this time. 3176 Purple Precision on your number one alliance. Teams needing to win this match to stay in the game since we are in the lower bracket. Remember, it's double elimination. 2197 Las Pumas with their swerve mechanism getting caught just under the stage for a few moments, but able to successfully deliver a note into their speaker for two points. Teams really ramping up. Red Alliance just coming out of an amplified period, pulling them ahead by a couple points with over 80 seconds remaining in the match. 91, sorry, 94, 91. That's Crypto Creek. They've been sitting up towards the top part of the rankings for most of the time. They're really good at scoring the amp, allowing their teams to hold on to that until they need it amplified at a later time. 94-53 sitting in the way of their blue opponents, trying to prevent them from scoring as many points. Their teams had to pick it up from their source station and then score it into either receptacle. It's still one point for the amp and two points for the speaker unless it's amplified. Red amplifying that speaker. That's five points now for every 10 seconds that procure. 3176 trying to sneak in just below that. They might just be short. Current scores 52 to 35 in favor of the Red Alliance. 45 seconds remaining. Two shots off by the Red Alliance, two of the points each since that was unamplified. Some bumper on bumper action as we dwindle down with the time remaining. Currently 16 notes for the Red Alliance, 13 for the blue, but plenty of points still remaining for them to tie up this potentially in the end game. As per usual, we'll hear that guitar riff at 20 seconds. And those human players will start to spotlight their robots again. They're trying to land their ring on top of that microphone, that metal pipe on top of the stage. Blue Alliance with one robot in the air. Red Alliance going for a couple. Harrison Robotics, the West Lafayette team, 1747, hoping to do the same. A few seconds reigning the match. And that is a wrap for match five in the playoffs of the Washington District here at Toyota and Vincennes University sponsored. And here are your scores for playoff match five. The team continuing on is the Red Alliance. The Red Alliance with a nice score of 69 remaining in to play another day. We'll see them again in match 10. Alliance 4, thank you so much for competing like crazy. A good congratulations and round of applause to 94-91, 21-97, and 44-85. We'll see you.
All right, let's go ahead and meet our teams for this match. Starting us off on the Red Alliance, we have Team 9554. With students from Career Academy South Bend, sponsored by T-Slot, Bonum and Aluminum, Goldstone and Automotive and Harbor Freight Tools, it's the Fortage Pythons. Joining them, we have Team 5188. There, with students from Roseland Institute of Technology, Vigo School Corporation, and Terre Haute North Vigo High School, it's Classified Robotics. And rounding out our Red Alliance, we have Team 1501. Sponsored by PhD, RG Robotics, their 4-H team from Huntington, Indiana, it's Team Thrust. Starting off the Blue Alliance, we have Team 5484. That's the Wolfpack Career County South Bend's. Joining them, we have Team 1720. Their family community team out of Matthews, Indiana. It's Fixed Gears. And lastly, rounding out our Blue Alliance, we have Team 6498. With students from Castle High School, it's Castle Robotics. All right, let's get this match started in three, two, one, crescendo. Long playoff match six, teleoperated, sorry, autonomous period, just as usual, first 15 seconds, 1501 and 5188 will be high performers during this time. Bumper and bumper action here in the center of the field. They're autonomous, not quite sure what to do with each other, interacting. 50 to one continuing to move forward in the stage of play. A couple of points for their alliance. Scores currently 21 to 36 in favor of the Red Alliance. Now that we enter the teleoperated period, the human players pick up their controllers. Their team has built over the past 12 weeks, 17, 20 fixed skiers. They're from Matthews, Indiana. They'll probably be playing a very defensive game, trying to manipulate their game pieces to prevent their opponents from scoring as much as possible. 64, 98, Castle Robotics delivering one note into their amp. Teams storing up, needing two of those notes to amplify their speaker. That's how you get the most amount of points out of each ring known as a note. It appears that we've exhausted all those knots that began on the start of the field, so they need to pick up additional ones from their source station. 5484, Wolfpack from Queer Economy, making use of a strategy we've seen before, shooting a note over and storing it on their side of the field. Blue Alliance amplifying that area, 6498 Castle Robotics, making use potentially of that amplification, score additional points for their alliance. Score is currently 50 to 33 in favor of the red second alliance. It's a bumper a bumper action over here by the blue source. Teams have to be careful to make sure to do that contact in the appropriate areas or potentially get flagged by the refs. 501 Team Thrust potentially trying to deliver a note into their amp to score additional points for the Lions. Points are as usual are as follows. One for the amp, two for the speaker, and five for the speaker if it's amplified. The amplified period is worth is the duration of 10 seconds. Neither team entering at the moment. Taking a look at the scores, Blue Lions actually just using the application, using that to pull ahead. Scores 52 to 52, very tight. Continuing 50 seconds remaining in this match. We'll to see how these scores continue to evolve. 51-88 making use of their short drive mechanism to fit underneath the stage. Allowing them to be outmaneuvered by all of their components. 56-57, only one point difference. That's one point in the amp or potentially taking up the difference using the speaker. Teams having to pick up their game pieces from the sources and deliver diagonally across the field. Brass had to be careful to match their opinion and to make sure that they make on them. 23 seconds running the match. The score's just as close as we saw before. 51 88, potentially shortening up that distance. With 20 seconds running, we'll start to see teams maneuvering over towards their stage area and starting to climb. Three points for every elevated robot and potentially more bonus if they can get it spotlight using their human player or climbed on the same chain. Only a few seconds remaining in this match. We'll just see how the robots climb just short of time. That was all we have for playoffs match six here at the Washington District, sponsored by Toyota of Indiana and Vincennes University. We'll just see how these scores total up.
And here are your scores for playoffs match six. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. For those watching at home, the Blue Alliance was your sixth alliance. They'll play another day. We'll see them next in match nine. Alliance two with only a nice 69 points are unfortunately eliminated, but we want to give a huge congratulations for all the effort they put in today. So thanks very much to 5188, 1501, and 9594. Thank you so much for competing like crazy. All right, let's go ahead and meet our teams for this next elimination match. Starting off our Red Alliance, we have Team 8430. All the way from Washington High School, sponsored by Toyota, it's the Hatch Match. Joining them, and also their sister team, we have Team 8116. We've invaded their high school for the weekend in Washington, Indiana. It's Hatchet Robotics. And lastly, on our Red Alliance, we have Team 7657. Sponsored by Toyota Manufacturing and NASA. From the New Tech Institute, it's the Thunderbots. Starting off our Blue Alliance, we have Team 4926. With students from North and East Columbus High School, it's Galactech. Joining them, we have Team 7454. With students from Evansville, Indiana, in North High School, it's Huskies on Hog. Fix it on my own this time. And lastly, rounding out our Blue Alliance, we have Team 3559. Sponsored by Toyota, Indiana, DOD STEM, and Jasper High School, it's the Thundercats.
Just to let you all know, we're now moving back up into our upper bracket, so neither of these teams can truly be losers because the team that will lose will move into the lower bracket to compete again. All right, and without further ado, let's get this match started in three, two, one, crescendo. The teleoperative period, sorry, autonomous period is just as you've seen before. The first 15 seconds completely free program. 35 59 crawling their way over to that blue line. The autonomous period is the only time you get movement and points alone. 76 57, that's Thunderbots making quick use of the notes over on their side. Five points for each of those. As we enter the teleoperated period, the human players pick up the controllers that their robot team has built over the past 12 weeks. 74 57, demonstrate what it's like to quickly pick up a note from their source. That's a human player station where new notes can be introduced to the game after they've exhausted all the ones on the field. The Thunderbots, 7657 for New Tech Institute just down the road, picking up those final notes from the center of the field, shooting them over onto their side, trying to protect as many of those can, just like a squirrel would hoard its acorns. 8430 with their new modification to their robot, sitting with that mean smiley face, waiting to try to prevent their opponents from scoring. 76-26, demonstrating just what that frustration is like. They might go ahead and score that into the amp to get a couple of points. Red Alliance in that amplified time for the past five seconds, now 10. Anything scored during that time is worth an additional five points instead of just the two in the speaker. 80 seconds remain. Scores currently 31-28 to 28 in favor of the Red Alliance. Only three points difference. Blue Alliance choosing now to amplify their speaker. Five points reaching those scored during this 10-second time. Still plenty of time left in the match to change that. Thundercats 35-59 and 81-60. One of our whole teams hatched into robotics in a bit of a tough bumper and bumper situation over on the Red Alliance side. That sort of contact is allowed as long as that contact is kept to a minimum. 49-26 Galactic from Columbus, Indiana now swiftly maneuvering around the field, getting into that issue with that defender bot of 38-40. They've specifically modified the robot in the past couple of hours to make this their strategy for the competition, trying to prevent their opponents from scoring as much as possible. And so far, that seems to be successful. Scores 42-40 in favor of the Red Alliance. Only a couple point difference here. 30 seconds remaining in our match. 76-56, that tank drive with the cannon wheels on the corners allowed them to maneuver more quickly, but not quite as much as a swerve drive. Thundercats potentially climbing on the red line stage, but outside of that protected time period, so they're just okay. With the last couple of seconds training, we start to see a bunch of teams climb, but it's not necessarily in their favor. Many will continue to shoot until the time expires, since a lot of more points are available, especially if your speaker's amplified. But that sees about all time we have for playoffs match seven here at the Washington District, sponsored by Toyota Indiana and Vincennes University. And here are your scores for that upper bracket match seven. Continuing towards finals are your Red Alliance. Alliance number eight, your underdog team, beating out Alliance five by six points. We'll see them next in match 11, one step away. Alliance five, not quite out yet. We'll see them next at match nine. Six point difference between your winners there. Stay tuned for more matches. A kind reminder to our students participating in the ring toss game. We need you by gate three by the start. Again, the start of playoff match nine. Again, go down the stairs over by gate three before the start of match nine so we can collect you for our ring toss game.
All right, let's go ahead and meet our teams for this qualification match. Starting out our Red Alliance, we have team 3452. From Brand Spring High School in Michigan, it's the Green Engineers. Joining them, we have team 8564. With students from Princeton, Indiana Community High School, it's the Disco Ducks. And lastly, rounding out our Red Alliance, I'm not going to hit one of these, team 5402. With sponsors from Lewis Cash Junior Senior High School in Walton, Indiana, it's Reckless Robotics. Starting off our Blue Alliance, we have team 868. With students from Carmel, Indiana, in, it's the Tech Hounds. And joining them, we have team 3947. With students from Knightstown High School in Wilkinson, Indiana, it's the last Crusaders. And lastly, rounding out our Blue Alliance, we have team 234. With students from Prairie Meridian High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, with their robot encore, it's Cyber Blue. Once again, we are still in that upper bracket match. So both of these teams we will see again, and the team who wins will go on to be at the finals eventually. All right, let's get this match started in three, two, one, crescendo. Welcome to play with match nine. Everything free program for the first 50 seconds as per usual. Scores just as you know them. Movement points, extra bonus points. 868, the tech-outs on the blue lines. High performers usually during this time. Every note scored in the speaker for the first 50 seconds worth five points for their alliance. A couple of points on both sides. Blue alliance currently leading it by a couple of points, but anything could change with the rest of the game. 5402, Reckless Robotics quickly maneuvering to the center of the field where they got some bumper on bumper action from 3947, the last Crusaders. Teams trying to minimize that cycle time, the time between picking up a game piece on the source and delivering it into any of the receptacles. One point for the amp and two or five for the speaker. 3452 trying to, to deliver into the speaker just shy. Blue Alliance amplified and double shooting into the speaker, trying to score as many points for their lines as possible. 234 just shy of shooting off another shot for their team. 34 to 44 in favor of the Blue Alliance. Currently over 90 seconds remaining in the match. 
234 Cyber Lou, the team from Indianapolis, Indiana, one of many over here on the Source Station, picking up from their human players and quickly maneuvering that across the field, placing it into the amp and storing that note for another day so it becomes amplified later. 34-52, the Green Engineers, that's the Michigan team down here in the Indiana event, getting some defense on by one of the blue opponent robots. Their unique dry tame with swerve mechanism allows them to move more swiftly, but makes it e harder for them to be defended by. A6 the attack hounds shooting a little bit of high out of the field, landing just in the audience. That will be returned to one of our staff members and then put back into the field of play. A minute remaining in the match scores currently 36 to 37 in favor of your blue alliance. Checking in on 85-64 with the robot Michael Quaxin. That's the, the Disco Ducks. They've been a pretty good defending bot for most of the round today, trying to prevent their opponents from scoring as many points as possible. Many of the teams this year deciding to go with a shorter design to fit under the stage. The Tech House completely ignoring that, instead designing with an elevator to score some additional points here in the end game in the trap. Team 3947, the last Crusaders, sitting just in that presentative offensive spot to try to prevent their teammates from scoring. We'll hear that guitar riff. As we enter the last 20 seconds, teams will start to throw their notes, trying to score additional points during that climb. Plenty of points outside the match in the day, only 20 10 seconds remaining. Looks like it's favorite of your blue lines, but plenty of points available in the climb as we wind down this match. The last points from the Green Engineers, and that's about it for playoffs match eight here at the Washington District, sponsored by Vincennes University and Toyota of Indiana. And here are your scores for playoff match eight. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance is your third alliance with 79 points. Just beating out Alliance 7. We'll see both of these teams again. We'll next see the Blue Alliance, Alliance 3 in match 11. And Alliance 7, we'll see them in the lower bracket in match 10. Stick tight for the next match, playoffs nine. Final call for those ring toss game players. Please meet me by gate three right now. We need all those players to head that way so we can start prepping you for your amazing game. Again, if you are in the ring toss game and you see your name on the screen, please head to gate three where the game announcer will meet you and explain the rules of the game and the name of the game. Stick tight.
energy. Let's go ahead and kick off round three. We're starting off with our Red Alliance. We are with Team 3559. From Jasper High School, they're the Thundercats. Here in the center, we have Team 7454. From North High School, it's Huskies on Hogs. <laughs> and finally, we've got Team 4926. From Columbus High School is their Galactic. Over on the blue side of the field, we have our whole entire alliance over here. But we're starting off with Team 5484. From Career Academy South Bend, it's Career Academy Robotics Wolfpack. All right, we're all over here in the center. We've got Team 1720. From Matthews, Indiana, they're fixed gears. And finally, we have the whole crew to wrap us up with Team 6498. From Castle High School in Newburgh, Indiana, they're Castle Robotics. All right, we have a thumbs up, so it's time to start round three. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Lower bracket round three is now underway with the autonomous portion of this match. We have the number five alliance in red, the number six alliance in blue. And the score is 21 to 21 as we wrap, out, wrap up this autonomous portion and move on to Teleop. We are in the elimination bracket, meaning the winner of this match will move on to see another match, and the loser will be eliminated. 54-84, employing their strategy of feeding their alliance partners by throwing notes across the field. You can see a lot of those notes stored up in the blue alliance area. They're gonna use those notes to have some really quick cycle times. 17-20 playing the defense that won them their last match. Preventing 74-54 from making it through to the other side. They do narrowly escape. Fifty-four eighty-four. Do some quick cycles in the amplified blue speaker. Each one of those notes is gonna be worth five points for the next few seconds. Scores 32 to 27, favoring our number six ranked alliance. 74-54 trying to grab a note from underneath 49-26. 17-20 trying to stop, stop 74-54 and make it through. They just barely escape. 54-84 on their way back to their alliance side. 55 seconds left in this match. Red alliance speaker is amplified. Lots of traffic on the blue side of the field. 64-98. 6498 getting defended by 3559 trying to stop them from getting through that that side of the field they are pinned but they do make it away 27 seconds left in this match pretty soon we're going to see these robots going over to their stage those human players are throwing all those high notes onto the microphones the Blue Alliance lands one, the Red Alliance lands one as well. That gives an extra point to each robot that joins the stage. Five seconds left in this match. And there's the match. We'll have our final score here very soon. Remember, this is an elimination bracket, meaning the winner will move on. We unfortunately have to say goodbye to one of our teams in this match. The results from that match are in. Your winners, the Blue Alliance.
That is your sixth ranked alliance taking home the match with 65 to 37 points. This does mean our number five alliance is eliminated, but let's give a huge round of applause for that alliance for getting it this far in the tournament. They've done an awesome job so far. So give it up for 74, 54, 49, 26, and 35, 59. All right, let's get started with match number 10 of our playoffs. We're starting out with team 3452. From Berrien Springs, Michigan, they're the Green Engineers. Joining them for this dance, we've got team 8564. From Princeton, Indiana, it's the Disco Ducks. <clears throat> And finally, rounding off this Red Alliance, we have Team 5402. They're from Walton, Indiana. It's Reckless Robotics. Over on the blue side of the field, we're starting off with Team 3176. From Brownsburg, Indiana, it's Purple Precision. In the center of our blue alliance, we have Team 1747. Your alliance captains from West Lafayette, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. And finally, we have Team 9453. From Mount Vernon, it's the Wildcats.
All right, we have Alliance number one and Alliance number seven, and it is time to start this match. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Our 10th playoff match is now underway. We have the number one seeded Alliance in blue, the number seven seeded Alliance in red. Both of these Alliances scoring some notes early on here in the autonomous portion of this match. The score is 29 points for the Blue Alliance, 7 for the Red Alliance. Going into the teleoperated portion of the match. 17-47, your number one Alliance captain. They're scoring some points for their team. Eighty-five, sixty-four. using that feeding strategy that we've seen a few times throughout this event. Getting notes from their source and putting it over to their Alliance side so that their Alliance partners can score those when their speaker is amplified. The score is now 47 to 46. It is a close match. 1747 scoring another point for the Blue Alliance. Gives them the lead just barely. Red Alliance has taken that lead back. Seventeen forty-seven, making quick cycles for the Blue Alliance, but that Red Alliance score continues to gr to climb. It looks like that there's some penalties being awarded to the Red Alliance in th that loading zone. Lots of traffic over in center field as these robots complete these cycles. About 45 seconds left to go in this match. The Red Alliance currently has the lead. 31-76, their purple precision. They just score one for the Blue Alliance. About 30 seconds left to go in this match. Pretty soon we'll see those robots move over to their stage. The Red Alliance speaker is amplified, meaning those points count for extra. You can see those human players trying to spotlight their robots by throwing those high notes onto those microphones. 1747 and 3176 are going for a double climb on that stage. Five seconds left in this clash, and they're both up. All three Red Alliance robots have made it over to the stage, and that's the match. We'll have our final scores here very soon. The scores from that last match are in. Your winner, the Red Alliance, with a score of 93 to 78 points. Our number seventh ranked alliance will be moving on to lower bracket round four. You can see there are some penalty points in that match. 25 penalty points awarded to the Red Alliance. Four penalty points awarded to the Blue Alliance. Let's give a huge round of applause to our number one ranked alliance for putting up an amazing score of 74 points unpenalized. Let's give a round of applause for 1747, 3176, and 9453.
We now have a six minute field timeout, which means it's time to ring toss! We have a series of fantastic tossers. Ready? to throw notes for your amusement. All right, Washington Robotics fans, welcome to your semi-annual and first time ring toss competition. The rules of the game are simple. The rules of the game are simple. One at a time, players from each of the team will toss a ring onto the stage. They get one point for landing on the stage and not touching the ground. And they get three points if they're able to encircle the microphone at the end of the round. We have 10 players for each alliance. They will shoot towards the stage. After all 10 players are done, we'll total up the scores and you'll see them on the screen momentarily. All right, Carl, it's your turn. All right, we're ready for our first contestant. Get ready to take your throw. He's pointing out a shot. Call your shot. Go for it. Go. Ooh. It's a good one. Let's take it over here to the blue alliance side. Oh, we're good. Never mind. We're going to stay over on the red alliance side. Take your shot. Ooh. Oh, there's a little bit of defense being played on him. Trying to take shots early, making sure. Both go three, two, one, throw. Ooh. That could be worth three points. Next contestant's up. Reminder, you must keep one foot in the box or your left kidney, either or. Okay, let's toss in three, two, one, throw. Next up, up into the box. Take your step forward. In the box, in the box. We throw in three, two, one, toss. Oh, oh! Do we know what a trap even is? That's an extra ranking point. One extra ranking point. Oh, wait, wait, back in the boxes, back in the bosses. Three, two, one, throw. Next up. Prepare for this. Going in three, two, one, throw. Not bad, not bad. Next contestants up. Three, two, one, throw. A little bit of defense played by the red side there. Okay, next notes, next notes. Three, two, one, throw. Ooh, no, that's points. All right, next up. We got the last one for Red Alliance, last for Blue. This is for all the points. Oh! Oh. We are now going to consult with Cyan as to what this trap meant. With that, we have a winner of the Red Alliance with a total of eight big points. Congratulations, Red Alliance. Now, robots are back on the field. The Red Alliance were our winners for the Ring Toss Championship. We're adding up the scores. Thank you very much for all of our participants. Stick around for match 11 of the playoffs match here at the Washington District, sponsored by Toyota Indiana and Vincennes University.
All right, we are in the upper bracket for round four, so let's get this started. We have Team 8430. With their smiley of doom from Washington High School, it's the Hatch Batch. Joining them, we have Team 8116. One of our host teams, the Alliance Captain from Washington High School, it's Hatchet Robotics. And finally, flying in with this team, we've got Team 7657. With the robot Betty from Evansville, Indiana, it's the Thunderbots. Across the field in blue, we have Team 868. From Carl Senior High School, it's the Tech Hounds. Joining them next, we have Team 3947. From Perry Meridian High School in Indianapolis, it's Cyber Blue. And finally, we have Team 234. They are from Wilkinson, Indiana, the Last Crusaders. Find someone to find me a tissue after you start this up. Thank you. We have a thumbs up, so let's get started with match number 11. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. First 30 seconds, fully autonomous. Watch her on the blue line size, 868, trying to make five big shots. Their preload in the center one, but Thunderbots are going to steal that one from them first and take a shot up high and score it. 868 grabbing one last note, but no, just shooting in the last seconds. We're going to go into this 22, 24 to 16 in favor of Blue Alliance. However, Red, every single match so far, has started behind during these playoffs, and they have come back ahead throughout it because of what you see 84-30 doing right now, something called Smiley of Doom defense, which makes it incredibly hard for robots who like to shoot up close and personal to take shots. We're going to continue to work on trying to make sure that the opponents can't take shots up high. 39-40 is going to be the defense robot for the Blue Alliance team. They're going to play more of a, low, a zone defense, trying to avoid their opponents from crossing that middle blue line. 31 to 27, still a four-point difference right now between your third seed alliance and eighth seed. Both of these teams are wanting to win this match to move on to finals. 868 trying to take a shot, but not quite able to do so with 84-30 getting their way. They are able to take that shot, but 234 not able to make another one before. 36 to 30, red or blues now starting to pull ahead with a minute and nine seconds left in this match. The moment, Blue Alliance focusing on grabbing notes from their source. Going to have to make their way and take some of these final shots. Last again, amplification means blue is going to start pulling ahead of 48 to 33. A 15-point lead. Red Alliance is going to have to find the firepower in order to take high shots right now. But 39-40's defense holding them off before they get a chance to go over and score in more notes in the amplified section. 38-54, Blue Alliance starting to pull ahead. And with 27 seconds left in this match, it's going to soon get extremely dangerous for Red to go to the opposite side of the field. 868 still trying to find a shot, able to get in to the subwoofer and take a shot high. 234 also looking to do the same right now. And a block, a shot blocked by 8430. 60 to 41, seven seconds left in this match. 
Robots looking to climb it. 234 is up. 39.47 going up. Two seconds left. 1.8. We have your scores. Round four, the winners moving on to finals. It is the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance winning 64 to Reds, 46. That means they are going to advance on to finals number one. Reds going to drop down into the lower bracket. They'll be back next up for round five of match 13. Congratulations to the Blue Alliance winning uh, round four, match 11, here at the Washington District event, sponsored by Toyota and Vincennes University. All right, we have alliance number seven against alliance number six, and we are ready to get started. Let's introduce our team, starting with team 3452. Your rock, paper, scissors champions. They're the Green Engineers. Joining them in the center, we have team 8564. Dancing on down from Princeton Community High School, it's the Disco Ducks. And finally, to round out this alliance, we have Team 5402. They're wrecking, but they ain't Ralph. It's a Reckless Robotics. Thank you. Moving across the field over on the Blue Alliance. Hello, everyone. We're starting out with Team 5484. Completely packing that cheer section. It's Career Academy Robotics, a wolf pack. All right, we're having our whole alliance move over here to 1720. From Matthews, Indiana, it's a Fixed Gears. And finally, we're rounding us out with Team 6498. With the robot, Leonardo da Vinci, it's Castle Robotics.
Um, drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Starting off match number 12. Robots taking shot tie over on the blue line, 64 and 98, going to do or a majority of the closer notes. They're going to then come to the center field, trying to clear notes in the center to take it back. Not able to do so, going to stop on their stage right now. We're going to start this tally off match 26 to 17. Let's talk a little bit about these themes. 54 84. First event this year up at Mishawak, Indiana. They're going to focus starting on a cycling strategy to clear the midfield of notes, trying to keep it over to their side of the field by putting more notes on their side of the field. It becomes more risky for opponents to collect those notes and also easier for them to score multiple notes during the amp period. Amp period is when they, after a team scores two notes in their amp, then press a button to start scoring an additional Three points, up to five points per note. Minute 40 seconds left in the match. 32 to 23. Blue starting to pull ahead. Pulling ahead is extremely uh, dangerous for the Red Alliance as 1720 has been playing hardcore lockdown line defense against 5402 and the rest of the Red Alliance team. Engineers just taking a shot during their amplified period up high. 37 to 30. Favor of your blue alliance though. However, 5402 taking a last second shot during that amplification period for an extra five points. A couple of high shots are going to up the red score, but blue is reciprocating. Now dropping another note into the amp. Quite able to do this. We have a lot of red robots stuck over here with this line defense. You'll notice that with multiple robots there, it is causing this area to start crowding to occur. These robots are starting to get in their way. Engineers having to wait until that area is a little bit more open for them to actually come across the field. 45 seconds left in the match. Five-point lead for red, blue, so still anyone's game, especially with the clients we've been seeing more consistently. 39 seconds left. These robots staying over by blue stage is, becomes more and more dangerous for that red alliance. 30 seconds left in this match. 10-point lead right now by the blue alliance. 54, 84, looking to collect one more note to shoot into the amp. We have one more note needing to go into their amp. 17 seconds left in this match. Robots now looking to climb. Here's some chanting from the audience. 85, 64 looking to be the first to come up. 10 seconds left, 53 to 45 in favor of blue line. 85, 64, Disco Ducks is up. 17, 20, almost up. Three seconds left, 54, 02 up. And Leonardo da Vinci, that castle robotic, up. As a reminder, in the lower bracket, the losers are knocked out. Winners go on to match 13. Your winner is the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance winning 63 to 51. Notice there, there's a couple points making a difference there, but there's going to be five points up in the speaker, an extra point on the amp, and one more point, or two more points for the leave, or four more points for the leave at the beginning of the match for that Blue Alliance and allow them to take that match and move on to match 13. All right, let's take a moment to give a big round of applause for a valiant effort by the Red Alliance composed of 5402, 3452, and 8564 for a wonderful competition so far.
All right, hello everybody. I know we're all super excited to get to the finals, but we have another really awesome thing to do in the little in-between time, and that is give out some awards. Yeah, it's exciting. All right, so if your team gets an award, what you're going to do is you're gonna come down either staircase, whatever is closest to you. Oh, and Carl's demonstrating right there, so if you, if, you know, Watch him. You're going to come down either staircase, whatever's closest to you. You're going to come in on the red side of the field. You're going to get congratulated by all of our lovely judges who are going to come out here in just a second. Get your fabulous trophy. Go out the blue side of the field over to take your picture at our lovely First Indiana Vincennes University and Toyota Indiana Banners. And then you're going to go out that side and then back up to your seats, all right? Thank you, Carl, for demonstrating. Please give it up for our lovely judges as they head onto the field. Come on, give it up for our judges. They've been amazing this weekend. All right, let's hear our first award. So our first award is the Imagery Award in honor of Jack Kamen. The Imagery Award is in honor of Dean Kamen's father for his dedication to art, illustration, and his devotion to FIRST. This is a very appropriate award for this season. This award celebrates attractiveness in engineering and outstanding visual aesthetic integration of machine and team appearance. This team rises up to the challenge of first. They impress the judges with their imaginative, imaginative integration of their theme, not only in their robot, but also in the heart and soul of their team. Whenever the judges saw them, they gave us pandemania. Congratulations to 1747. All right, congratulations, team. All right, it's time for our second award, which is honestly one of my favorites, and that is the Gracious Professionalism Award. The Gracious Professionalism Award celebrates outstanding demonstration of the first core values, such as contagious gracious professionalism, working together both on and off the field of play. The winning team exemplifies the principles of FIRST with fairness, humility, positivity, and respect. Other teams will always be welcome at this team's house. They are granting access to a large block of land to make a machine shop and practice facility. We can't believe a fixed team like this could be so flexible. Congratulations to Team 1720 Fixed Gears. Fixed Gears are our community-based teams from Matthew, Indiana. Founded in 2006, this is their 19th season competing with FIRST.
Congratulations, and thank you for all of your gracious professionalism on and off the field. Next up, we have the Team Spirit Award. The Team Spirit Award celebrates extraordinary enthusiasm and spirit throughout exceptional partnership and teamwork, furthering the objectives of FIRST. This team extends the spirit of FIRST beyond their pack. They are changing lives through their extensive outreach. It was their energy that had the judges ready to sing along. Are you ready, kids? Congratulations to Team 5484 Wolfpack. Team 5484 Wolfpack is from Career Academy South Bend in South Bend, Indiana. Founded in 2015, this is their 10th season competing with FIRST. All right, congratulations. <clears throat> All right, it is now, oh my gosh, it is now time for our Rookie Inspiration Award. The Rookie Inspiration Award celebrates a rookie team's outstanding success in advancing respect and appreciation for engineering and engineers, both within their school as well as in with the community. This small but mighty team is composed of fiercely dedicated students who are using AI to make their team stronger. They are on fire with this amazing support from their school administration and support of alumni funding. Congratulations to Team 9491 Crypto Creek. Team 9491 Crypto Creek is from Silver Creek High School in Sellersburg, Indiana. Founded in 2024, this is their rookie season competing in first. Congratulations. Congratulations! That was super exciting, and I think it was just what we needed to get us over into our next match. Please give another huge round of applause to our judges. We will see you all real soon for some more awards, but for now, let's get back to playing with some robots.
All right, in this next 20 seconds that we have before our next match, I just wanted to remind everybody that Lost and Found is going to be at Pit Admin. So if you're missing something, maybe go check there, all right? Lost and Found is at Pit Admin. Thank you. All right, I can tell we have some very strong feelings about this match. We're very excited and I love to see it. So let's go ahead and meet our Red Alliance. We have team 8430. The winners of the Columbus District event, it's the Hatch Batch. Joining them, we have team 8116. The eighth seed alliance captain raising all the way here, it's Hatchet Robotics. And ready to soar along with this alliance, we have team 7657. First comes the lightning and then the Thunderbots. All right, let's go over to the blue side of the field. We have team 5484. Oh, back. In the center, we have team 1720. From Matthews, Indiana, it's Fix Gears. And finally, give it up for team 6498. And rounding out with the robot, Leonardo da Vinci, it's Castle Robotics. Let's do this. All right, let's kick off this match. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Starting off this matchup, we have Red Alliance looking to score in close, but Blue Alliance going to try and take notes from those center areas during this auto. 64 and 98, not quite able to pick one up. Four seconds left in this auto, and 26 to 16 in favor of your Blue Alliance currently. 54 A4 are going to start taking notes from that center field and uh, shooting them to, this, to their side of the field. However, we're going to have some heavy defense played by 76 of 57, trying to make sure they grab some of the notes that 54 84 wanted right off the bat. 84 and 30 going to come in to start playing a smiley defense. Smiley defense trying to get up against the subwoofer so they can prevent shots from the Blue Alliance side. 32-21, a minute and 49 left in this match, so anyone's turn. Red Alliance not unused to starting out a little bit behind an auto, but then you're able to shut down their opponent's offensive capabilities with that robot 84 30. 17-20, one of the main defenders for the Blue Alliance right now, currently working on trying to prevent 81-16 from grabbing notes from their side of the field. Right now, with currently a 14-point lead for the Blue Alliance, the Lions need to keep on making sure they can score through that Smiley of Doom and prevent the Red Alliance from taking shots up high to try and make up the 13-point difference right now. Penalties have been shown in the past to make a major difference in this competition. Getting a point difference from would be incredibly important over time. 54-84 with their turret trying to get around Hatchbatch right now. 
trying to find an opening so they can aim their turret and take a shot high. They're not quite able to do so, but that note is going to land inside of 8430's robot right now. 45 seconds left in this match. 44 to 25 in favor of your Blue Alliance. Two defense robots right now absolutely shutting down both alliances. Means that autonomous scoring early on was critical in determining who will end up winning this match. 27 seconds left in this match. Red now with a, or blue now with a 15 point lead. Blue Alliance ready to amp their human player, wanting to have a raw take a shot high. They're not able to get that right now. Fortunately, we are going to have. Hit right now, 10 seconds left. Robots are now looking to start going climb. 54, 84, taking some last second shots with their robot. Four seconds left, and a last second shot high for amplification. We have your scores. The winner of this match of moving out of finals, the loser of the eliminated. Let's see who goes on. It's the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance winning a 68 to 41 with 10 extra points on that speaker. We're going to advance over to finals one. However, let's take a moment to point out the valiant efforts of 81-16, 76-56, and 84-30. We're making it extremely far in this competition. All right, it is time for some more awards. Who's excited? Come on, come on. All right, please make some noise as we welcome our judges back onto the field. Just as a reminder, just as our judges are, you will be coming onto the red side of the field and leaving on the blue side. All right, award number five that we are giving out today is the Autonomous Award. The Autonomous Award celebrates the team that has demonstrated consistent, reliable, high-performance robot operation during autonomously managed actions. Evaluation is based on the robot's ability to sense its surroundings, position itself, or onboard mechanisms appropriately and of course, execute tasks. Here's what the judges had to say. This robot can compete on air, land, and sea. Their ability to track and follow notes helps them stay in the limelight and blend in with the coral. Their adaptable and autonomous modes thrust them to early leads. Congratulations to Team 1501, Team Thrust. Team Thrust is from 4-H in Huntington, Indiana, founded in 2005. This is their 20th season competing with first.
Hands Thrust. Next up, we have the Creativity Award. This award is sponsored by Rockwell Automation, and it celebrates creativity that enhances strategy of play and was intentionally designed and not discovered. This team geared up for a risky adventure. They explored a new path, picking up notes from three sides with a unique and simple intake. In their crusade, they founded their small robotics family. Congratulations to Team 3947, The Last Crusaders. Team 3947, The Last Crusaders is from Knightstown High School in Wilkinson, Indiana. Founded in 2012, this is their 13th, compete, 13th season competing with first. All right, congratulations, everyone. This is getting so exciting. All right, number seven, we have the Quality Award. The Quality Award celebrates machine robustness in, the, in concept and in fabrication. Building the robot is only part of their success, and the judges recognize them as a quality example to others. Don't let the green disguise of this ro robust robot, if their molecular I'm sorry, I think a sentence is missing here. Don't let the green disguise of this robust robot distract you. If their modular intake breaks, it can simply fly off into space. Oops, sorry. I guess this information is no longer classified. Congratulations to Team 5188, Classified Robotics. Team 5188, Area 5188, Classified Robotics is from West Vigo High School in Terre Haute. South Vigo High School and Terre Haute North Vigo High School in Terre Haute, Indiana. Founded in 2014, this is their 11th season competing with first. Congratulations, 5188. All right, we have one more award for this segment, and that is the Industrial Design Award. This award, sponsored by General Motors, celebrates the team that demonstrates industrial design principles, striking a balance between form, function, and aesthetics. This team's breakaway design impressed the judges. With layers of protection, they created a strong base of success. Cut chow to team 3452, Green Engineers. <laughs> team 3452, Green Engineers is from Berrien Springs High School in Berrien Springs, Michigan. Founded in 2011, this is their 14th season competing with first. All right, thank you so much, judges. We will see you back on our field shortly. For now, I think we have a really exciting match to get to, so let's do it.
All right, everybody, it is the moment we have all been waiting for. It is time for our first match of the finals. Who's excited? Come on, I said, who's excited? All right, we are going to be getting our teams out on the field for our ceremonial handshake that we always do. It's tradition. So, teams, when I call your number, please come out onto the field in a line out this way, facing the audience, and then we'll do our handshake. So, first up, we have team 234. Competing with their robot encore, and they're from Indianapolis, Indiana. It's Cyber Blue. All right, to join them out here on the field, we have Team 3947. They're from Wilkinson, Indiana. It's the Last Crusaders. And finally, to round out our Red Alliance in the finals, we have Team 868. <laughs> They're competing with their robot remix from Carmel, Indiana. It's the Tech Hounds. All right, let's meet our Blue Alliance. Starting us off, we have Team 5484. From South Bend, Indiana, it's Career Academy Robotics, Wolfpack. Joining them on the Blue Alliance, we have Team 1720. Competing with their robot, Noodlebot. They're from Matthews, Indiana. It's Fixed Gears. Finally, for our last team in the finals, we have Team 6498. They're from Newburgh, Indiana, and their robot's name is Leonardo Di Vinci. It's Castle Robotics. What an impressive lineup. Make some noise. <clears throat> All right, Red Alliance, come in front a little bit and go ahead and go down the line and shake hands. Okay, we have the same two teams who went against each other in match four now in the finals. Let's get started. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Let the finals begin. It's the number three alliance in red and the number six alliance in blue. The autonomous portion of this match is halfway through. The score 24 to 23. It's going to be a close match. And we begin the teleoperated portion of this match. This is the first of two, potentially three, finalist matches. It is a best two out of three tournament, unlike the previous matches. The score is 31 to 27. 
Both teams trying to get as many cycles as, in as they can. 17-20, they're fixed gears and they're playing defense on the red alliance. 234, Cyber Blue just making it away through the defense of 17-20. 54-84, navigating underneath that red alliance stage, grabbing a no. They're going to bring that back to their alliance side. Actually, they, yeah, they throw it to their alliance side, playing that feeding strategy, trying to let 64-98 score as many points as they can. Their Castle Robotics. About a minute 30 still to go in this match. The score is 43-43. to 43. It does not get closer than this in the finals here at the Washington District events. A68 making it across the field, navigating with 17-20, 17-20, moving both ways, left and right, trying to prevent them from getting through. A68 at the red line source, they pick up that no, and they're going to try to make it out to the red line side. They go the f from the far side so they can avoid the defense of 17-20. 54-84 making their way back to the blue line side with a no up for, of themselves. Score is 49-48, to 48. it is so close. Loss of action going on on the red line side, both blue lines robots there trying to collect some... Some notes from that source and bring it back to their side. 50 to 48 favoring the Red Alliance, but it is anybody's game. 45 seconds left in this match. Every second counts. 234 making it around that 17-20 defense. Third 947 playing some defense on 54-84. The Red Alliance speaker is amplified, meaning every no scored here is going to be worth five points. That could be the difference in this finals match. 25 seconds left to go. 54, 84, 17, 20, trying to prevent 234 from making it through. They just narrowly escaped. 15 seconds left in this match. You can see those human players trying to spotlight their robots. 54, 84, 64, 98, 17, 20, all at the stage. Only a few points separating these teams. A68 is, go is going over to the, the climb. Two seconds left in this match. And that is the match. It is so close. We will have to await our final score to see who wins this one. That is how you kick off the final. All right, we have the scores of our first finals match. It's the Red Alliance. When they win that match with 78 to 71 points. They win the first of our best of three tournament here in the finals. Alliance 6 will have another chance to even up the game. But what an amazing match here at the Washington District events. Brought to you by Toyota and Vincennes University. All right, it's definitely not over. We still have at least one more finals match, but first we are gonna be doing some more awards. So please welcome our judges back onto the field. I don't think I heard you. I said, welcome our judges back onto the field. Perfect, great job everybody. All right, our ninth award of the day, the Innovation in Control Award. The Innovation in Control Award celebrates an innovative control system or application of control components, electrical, mechanical, or software to provide unique machine functions. Here's what the judges had to say. 
This team in innovated by first building their robot within a virtual simulation. They have done the math and physics to optimize their controls to drive with only four buttons. They love to hound the competition. Congratulations to Team 868 Tech Hounds. The Tech Hounds are from Carmel High School in Carmel, Indiana, founded in 2002. This is their 23rd season competing with first. All right, congratulations. All right, next is the Excellence in Engineering Award. The Excellence in Engineering Award celebrates the team that demonstrates a professional approach to the design process and whose design is elegant and advantageous on the field of play. When it comes to building robots, you have to have your eye on the prize. A design process to accurately meet your needs might just do the trick. In fact, this team was precisely on point. Congratulations to Team 3176, Purple Precision. Team 3176 is from Brownsburg High School in Brownsburg, Indiana. Founded in 2010, this is their 15th season competing with first. All right, let's keep it going. Next up, we have the Team Sustainability Award. This award is sponsored by Dow and celebrates and recognizes a team which has developed sustainable practices to have a positive environmental impact and achieve long-term continuity. This team earns their reputation by being innovative and helping their students operate in harmony. Their readiness to deal with adversity is demonstrated by their continuous acquisition of new skills to pursue larger competition. They engage the next generation early by conducting camps and involving the community to draw their interest. Don't worry if you collapse, this team has an AED to rescue you. Congratulations to Team 2197, Las Pumas. Team 2197 Las Pumas is from New Prairie High School in New Carlisle, Indiana. Founded in 2007, this is their 18th season competing with first.
All right, let's talk about our next award. This is the Judges Award. During the course of the competition, the judging panel may decide that a team's unique efforts, performance, or dynamics merit recognition, yet don't necessarily fit into any of the existing award categories. So here's what we have to say. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this one, all right? This young, scrappy team is hungry for opportunities to grow. Their cowboy mentality may look chaotic, but their focus is fun. They made the impossible possible when they gave new life to Teddy. Congratulations to team 4008, Theodore Roosevelt's disco haircut. Team 4008, Theodore Roosevelt's disco haircuts is from Pike Central High School in Petersburg, Indiana. Founded in 2012, this is their 13th season competing with first. All right, they headed home, but I'm sure they appreciate all the enthusiasm for the live stream. So thank you, everybody. Make some noise. All right. Well, I believe that is it for this award segment. So let's go, uh, go ahead and get ready for our next round of finals. Thank you, judges. All right, so as you may know, the state championship is coming up, and we have a lot of really exciting extra events that are gonna be accompany accompanying that event. So I'm gonna hand it over to Carl for a minute to talk about one that he's been working really hard on. Hi, everyone. How is everyone? Are we doing well today? That's likely on here. So I'm coming to you today not as um, a game announcer, but as someone who has a love for art um, and a love for all the amazing engineering art that exists, I find myself, um, well, I find the reason why I love being here is because my purpose in life is to take the wonderful worlds I see in my head and show you guys the beauty of them. And so because of that, uh, I am partnering with Finn this year to present to you guys the first ever Technology Art Expo um, that we're going to be putting on on state champs. And we want you guys to submit art pieces for that. So different types of art pieces that we're looking for, right? There's some artists. If you're an artist in the audience, raise your hand up high right now. Sick. I want your art piece. I want your art piece. I want your art piece, right? We're looking for technology-based art pieces. This could be art pieces that are made with technology, laser cutting, cure cuts, sewing machines. This could be about technology, poetry, um, things about uh, maybe paintings, etc. cetera, right? Um, we're also looking at things that are specifically um, made using the technology components themselves, right? And Lots of things can be art, so I really suggest that you guys submit for that ASAP, right? Like, even this piece of paper could be art. It's blank. There's nothing on it. I'm reading nothing from this. But in some sense, there's an aspect of technology that went into creating this. And so I want you guys to submit to this wonderful art exhibition that's coming up here soon. There's going to be posts on Chief Delphi on it. There's posts coming through the Finn channels. If you have questions, please make sure you come talk to me later. Thank you guys very much. And let's get hyped for finals two!
Let's give a round of applause for the amazing conga line up there, up top. It is time for finals number two. Devin Langley, introduce our teams. All right, this is a big one. We are going to see whether or not we will have a third finals match or if we will have a champion. Let's meet our team, starting us off with team 234. In need of a Kraken motor, two to be exact, it's Cyber Blue. Next up, we have Team 3947. On a quest for that blue banner, it's, thir or it's the Last Crusaders. And finally, for our Red Alliance, we have Team 868. The winners of the playing field of District Event, looking to do it again, it's the Tech Hounds. And finally, on our Blue Alliance, we have Team 5484. Oh, it's a wolf pack. In the center, we have Team 1720. With the new nickname, the Assassins, it's a fixed gears. We have everybody over here to cheer on Team 6498. Let those crustaceans rule the day. It's Castle Robotics. Make some noise for our Blue Alliance. Make some noise for our Red Alliance. All right, everybody, drivers behind the line, count it off with me. Three, Three two, two, one, crescendo. crescendo. <laughs> Maybe starting off this match, we have autonomous from both sides. Red Alliance are looking to take this for a win and clinch the match. It's a pushing to grab a no, able to pull one and take a shot high, just barely mixing it. With that, 21 to 10, the Blue Alliance now in the win. This is a flip from what we saw in that last match right now. Both these teams were extremely close. 5484 has one of the fastest note acquiring robots in this competition. They're working on stealing notes from their opponents. Subwoofer area, those notes making it so that they reduce the number of cycles their opponents have to take shots. We'll take multiple shots up high. Well, 64-98 looking to place another one, getting ready to amp for the Blue Alliance side. 54-84 taking another note from the Red Alliance side. 39-23 in favor of your Blue Alliance. 17-20 absolutely taking their chances to take out 24. 
nicknamed the Assassin. So we're trying to hit 868. It sticks it. Incredibly quick robot, but unable to go underneath the stage, cutting off the options for where they can drive. One minute, 22 seconds left in the match. 55 to 34. Blue needing this match to stay alive. 34, 234, looking to grab a note. 55 to 40. Blue Lions, Leonardo da Pinci robot over for Castle Robotics, looking to place a note in the amp. Able to place it there. They're getting ready to try and amplify. 868, stealing a note from the subword for the location of the Blue Alliance. 56 to 50 in favor of your Blue Alliance. But the gap is closing. 53 seconds left in this match. Blue Alliance is wanting to take a couple more shots up high. 17, 20. Trying to play some defense, but the Red Alliance has been starting to get better at countering it. 54, 84 taking a shot up high. 61 to 53. So very, very close in this match. 234 grabbing another note. 1720 looking to stop them right now. Trying to prevent them to come across that line. Red Alliance wanting to take a subwoofer shot right now for amplification. Able to get up there. They amp. That's going to be worth five big points. 59 to 63. Less than a five point difference. Only four difference. One note through amplification can be the difference of this match. 20 seconds left in this match. Teams looking to climb right now. Trying to stop 868 from a climb. And getting a trap note. Three high notes for the Red Alliance. 64 to 65. One point difference right now. 720 trying to get up. Two seconds left in this match. A hush falls of the audience. Only three points difference in this final score. Let's take a look at who wins, red or blue. Your winners of this match too, the Red Alliance! Let's take a moment to congratulate a Alliance 6 against all odds working their way back up the lower bracket and having a wonderful, amazing run. Blue Alliance composed of 54-84, 64-98, and 17-20. Again, a huge round of applause for these amazing teams becoming one of our two finalists at this event.
All right, everybody, I want to give a shout out to a fantastic group of volunteers who have been running around all weekend making sure to capture all of the memories that we've been making. And that is our media team here at this event. Can we give them a huge round of applause? They have been putting together a highlight recap video for us, so let's take a look. All right, everybody. Before we start our award ceremony, please, if we could have any past Woody Flowers finalist winners, please come down to that side of the field back there. So when we honor our mentors and everybody, you can be a part of that. So again, any past Woody Flower finalist winners, please come down to the field right now.
All right, everybody, if you have lost a wallet, please know it is at Pit Admin. Um, does have an ID in it, so we'll be able to make sure it gets paired up with the right person. So again, if you have lost a wallet, it is at Pit Admin. So make sure you go pick that up before you go home. All right, everybody, it is time for our awards ceremony. Who had a great day today? Oh, I am so glad to hear it. I had a fantastic time, and I know our great team of volunteers that we had here did too. I just want to say another big thank you to our sponsors, our district planning committee, our field crew, scoring table crew, and all of our pit and machine shop volunteers. Thank you so much for being here and for all the work that went into this event. And of course, of course, our closing ceremonies would not be complete without a huge thank you to all of our coaches and mentors. So thank you to you as well. With our growing number of first teams in all programs, we need more of you. You are so important. And really, a mentor can be so many things for a student. Sometimes they become lifelong friends once they've graduated the program. Sometimes they double as your parent. Sometimes they're just in, they're just in a student's life for you know, the couple years that you're on the team. But no matter what, you leave a huge lasting impact. And so often, you are a key to a student's success. So if you are a student, please raise your hand. All right, now stand up, and let's give all of the amazing mentors here a huge standing ovation. Please make some noise. Mentors, thank you, thank you, thank you for your tireless commitment to this program. We're going we're gonna to come back to you in just a second, but first, I want to talk about another amazing group of leaders in our first community, and that is our first alumni. Would all of our first alumni around the room please stand up and wave? Now, I expect to see all of you next weekend at our state championship because we are going to be having a first alumni mixer. We are super excited. It's going to be on April 6th. That's Saturday from 7 to 8.45 after matches wrap up that day. We would love to see you. We're going to have food, games, maybe some fun prizes, and it's going to be a really fun event. So, you know, bring your, all your alumni friends and make sure you head to that event. We can't wait to see you there. And of course, now we have a great community in our alumni community. And now we have to recognize those who will soon be first alumni. Would all of our students in their final year of high school please stand up and let's give them a huge round of applause.
I know it's scary being in your last year of high school and leaving your first team, but I promise there are still so many ways for you to be involved in our first community and our Fin fam. So definitely make sure, you know, stay around, volunteer, mentor, do whatever you can to stay in the program because we would love to continue to have you. So good luck to all of you, whether you're going to college or a career, best of luck. And now, like I said, we're gonna circle back to our mentors for a moment because we want to once again recognize their long-term dedication to the students and FIRST program. So, if you have mentored for at least one year, please stand up. If you have mentored for two years, stay standing, two years or more. If you've mentored for at least three years, stay standing. Four years, stay standing. Five to seven years, stay standing. Eight to 10 years, stay standing. 11 to 14, stay standing. All right, 15 or more years, stay standing. Wow, huge round of applause. Thank you so much for your continuous support to this program. All right, now it is time to recognize some of our role models in our community nominated by their students. To acknowledge the Woody Flower finalist nominees, please welcome Chris Fultz and past winners of this award. All right, thank you, thank you. I'm joined on the field by previous regional or state district Woody Flowers Award winners. So FIRST Robotics stands apart from other competitions in STEM and sports due to the FIRST ethos of gracious professionalism, the concept of cooperation, and the commitment to the FIRST core values. The guiding force behind these principles was Dr. Woody Flowers. In honor of Woody, the late Dr. William Murphy Jr. founded the Woody Flowers Award, first presented in 1966. Dr. Murphy recognized that the first ethos would best be carried forward by our first mentors and sought to celebrate those mentors who demonstrated the leadership, ethical behavior, and communication skills that were exemplified by Woody. Woody strongly believed that societies get the best of what they celebrate and the Woody Flowers Award celebrates a mentor's excellence in communicating the art and science of engineering and design. As students, you are uniquely positioned to share evidence of how your mentors have led your team and been a positive influence on your life. Being recognized by students through your nomination essays makes this honor even more meaningful to the mentors. At each regional and district championship event, one mentor will receive the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. And then at the championship event in Houston, one mentor will be selected from re-nominated past finalists to receive the 2024 Championship Woody Flowers Award. In a few weeks, actually next week, we will recognize all of the Indiana nominees and name the 2024 Indiana District Woody Flowers Finalist recipient. And now, we're excited to add one more mentor to the list of those nominated at the other Indiana events. Please congratulate, and we'd like to invite down Lyle Oxley, Team 6498, <laughs> Castle Robotics.
Congratulations, Lyle. You joined 28 other mentors who are nominated from around the state, and we look forward to seeing who is selected in one week. Thank you. All right, thank you, Chris, and congratulations to our newest member. Congratulations. All right. Now it is time for the rest of our award segment. So please, one more time, welcome our judges onto the field. <laughs> All right, so we have a slight change to how the awards will happen this time, okay? So you will come down the same, all right? You come down the stairs that is closest to your team. You will go in through the red side. You will say hello to all of our fabulous judges. You will go out the blue side, and you're gonna go back up to your seats, all right? All of the rest of our awards will have photos out on the field after our closing ceremonies have finished, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? All right, perfect. So, the first award that we have is our Rookie All-Star Award. This is a fun one. The Rookie All-Star Award celebrates the rookie team exemplifying a young but strong partnership effort as well as implementing the mission of FIRST to inspire students to learn more about science and technology. Here's what the judges had to say. This team has started with the right foot forward, engaging and demonstrating all values of FIRST. Their robot is designed effectively and efficiently for this season with limited resources and some unique partnerships. Like a python, this team has the potential to grow large and get powerful enough to squeeze the competition. Congratulations to Team 9554. <laughs> Congratulations. Team 9554 Portage Pythons is from Career Academy South Bend in South Bend, Indiana. Founded in 2024, this is their rookie season competing with first. All right, next up is an award recognizing some individual students. First Dean's List District Championship semifinalists are outstanding, passionate student leaders who demonstrate exemplary effectiveness at attaining first ideals. They were nominated by their teams for their direct contributions and impact on others, exemplifying leadership and commitment on the team and in their community. First Dean's List District Championship semifinalists recognized here today will move forward to compete at the District Championship. All right, so, sorry again, another little change. Dean's List students, you will get your picture taken right now. Teams, if your full team is recognized for an award later, you'll go back and we'll do it afterwards, okay? So Dean's List students, you will come take a picture right over here after your name is called. All right, today we would like to recognize the following students. First off, congratulations to Dion D of Team 234. Team 234 Cyber Blue is from Perry Meridian High School in Indianapolis, Indiana. Next, for our second Dean's List Award today, we would like to recognize Michael M. of Team 3176.
Team 3176 Purple Precision is from Brownsburg High School in Brownsburg, Indiana. All right, our next award is the District Engineering Inspiration Award. And again, photos on the field after this award is called. Or after like everything is wrapped up, yeah. We got it. The Engineering Inspiration Award celebrates outstanding success in advancing respect and appreciation for engineering within a team's school, organization, and community. Inspiring others to respect science and technology requires passion, knowledge, and commitment. And we recognize these qualities through this award. Qualifying to compete for the Engineering Inspiration Award at the District Championship is the following team. And here's what the judges had to say. Sharing their passion for robotics with younger kids around the world has this team reaching for the stars. They're definitely grooving through the universe. Congratulations to Team 4926 Galactic. Team 4926 Galactic is from Columbus North and Columbus East High Schools in Columbus, Indiana. Founded in 2014, this is their 11th season competing with first. All right, next up, I think we can all agree that we had a pretty phenomenal finals match, right? All right, well now it is time to honor our district finalists. This celebrates the alliance that makes it to the final match of the competition. First recognizes the talent of these outstanding competitors. They were sensational and we are so proud to honor them. First up, congratulations to Team 5484! Team 5484 Wolfpack is from Career Academy South Bend in South Bend, Indiana. Founded in 2015, this is their 10th season competing with first. All right, let's keep it going and recognize the next member of this alliance. Join me in congratulating Team 6498. Team 6498 Castle Robotics is from Castle High School in Newburgh, Indiana. Founded in 2017, this is their eighth season competing in first.
All right, and finally, make some noise for Team 1720. Team 1720 Fixed Gears is a community-based team from Matthews, Indiana. Founded in 2006, this is their 19th season competing with first. Some noise again for our finalist alliance. They were amazing today. All right, well, next up is our district event winner. The champions formed a powerful alliance who rose to the many challenges of the crescendo competition, and they proved to be an exciting and competitive combination. They can now proudly hang a winner's banner in their pit. Congratulations first to Team 868. Team 868 Tech Hounds is from Carmel High School in Carmel, Indiana. Founded in 2002, this is their 23rd season competing with first. All right, and let's congratulate their alliance partner, Team 234. Team 234 Cyber Blue is from Paramoridian High School in Indianapolis, Indiana. Founded in 1999, this is their 26th season competing with first. All right, and let's wrap up this winning alliance with Team 3947. Team 3947, the last Crusaders is from Knightstown High School in Wilkinson, Indiana. Founded in 2012, this is their 13th season competing with first.
All right, I have the final award to announce, and that is the District First Impact Award. The First Impact Award is the most prestigious award in FIRST. It honors the team that best represents a model for other teams to emulate and best embodies the purpose and goals of FIRST. The First Impact Award is presented to the team judged to have the most significant measurable impact of its partnerships among its participants and community over a sustained period, not just a single build season. The winner is able to demonstrate progress towards first mission of transforming our culture. The recipient of team will be invited to the district championship where it will compete for the first impact award against winners from other qualifying events and compete with their robot. Here is what the judges had to say. With a focus on growth of FIRST in Southern Indiana, this team lets everyone know they are making an impact. Support of many teams from kickoff, mentoring young FRC teams navigate the challenge of the season, and even including them in trip planning and booking their hotels. This team will never raise their drawbridge and welcome all to their castle. Congratulations to Team 6498, Castle Robotics. Team 6498 is Castle Robotics. They're from Castle High School in Newburgh, Indiana, founded in 2017. This is their eighth season competing with first. Congratulations again. And I just want to give a shout out. That was some great support, cooperation, gracious professionalism, and the audience, everybody. I love that we're cheering each other on like this. Oh. All right, so I am going to just say a few concluding words, but make sure Stick around for a few minutes afterwards because this is our last district event, which means we will know who is going to be advancing to the state championship. And we will be having those team numbers up on the screen shortly. So stick around and find out. It's going to be really exciting. I know we're all looking forward to it. All right. But otherwise, this concludes our awards ceremony and the crescendo presented by Haas Competition here in Washington. Please join me again in congratulating all of the teams in their performance and more importantly, all of their efforts towards a successful future. Good job, everybody. Good luck. I'm so sorry, I take it back. We are actually having some technical difficulties now, so it may be a little while later tonight before we find out about um, who's advancing to state. So I'm so sorry, be patient with us. It's still really exciting though, and we're excited to see all that you do at our, your next competition and beyond. Good luck to everyone who will be competing further this season, and to the rest of you, we cannot wait to see you next season. We are so glad to have you in our FinFam, and we are just so grateful that you're here. 
So, oh, and just real quick, I also wanted to make sure that we all were on the same page. Um, with the Impact Award, the video is optional. Um, so just wanted to make sure that everybody knew about that change this season. But otherwise, congratulations to all of our teams for such a successful event. And we really look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great night and a safe trip home, everybody.